Well, inflation has continued to moderate over the past year, yet many retired workers are still feeling pinched with post-pandemic price increases. Later this week, Social Security recipients, they are likely receiving some much-needed relief. Retirees are expecting to see another increase in their monthly benefits thanks to the cost of living adjustment, known as COLA. Yahoo Finance senior columnist Carrie Hannon has the details on this COLA adjustment for us. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Brad. Um, yeah, and we'll get the numbers when uh, the inflation numbers come in, uh, in on Thursday. Uh, and what happens is the cost of living adjustment is sort of the equation is they take the inflation data from July, from August and September, and they put it all together in, in a, a magic calcul calculator and they come out what the cost of living adjustment for Social Security beneficiaries will be starting in January. So the, what I'm hearing out there right now, and if we look at what the numbers have looked like in uh, July and August, we're looking at something like a 2.5% increase. Now, last year, or I should say this year for 2024, there was a 3.2% bump up. So for 2025, it'd be 2.5%. And, and what that means is when you look at the average Social Security checklist for retirees is around $1,870. This is, we're talking about a bump up of maybe maybe $46. I mean, it, it, it is helpful and it's certainly something that's important and the fact that Social Security does adjust for inflation in itself is a great thing. But the problem here, Brad, is that many seniors still grapple with rising health care costs and rising housing costs and other variables that, while yes, inflation has cooled overall, there are pockets where seniors spend that really haven't felt that that uh, that cooling off. And so that's what there is some concern. But, you know, at least, uh, you know, I, the statistic is something like one in four seniors, uh, 90 per, they, they rely on their Social Security check for 90% of their income needs each month. So that's why this is a super important number and the adjustment is something that matters. Carrie, while we have you, Americans are growing increasingly concerned that they won't be able to retire comfortably. It seems like there's a lack of clear solutions from both politicians and financial planners on how to address this growing crisis. So is there is there a solution here? Yeah, Brad, it's kind of it's really a mess out there. I got to tell you, I just have a big piece that's on Yahoo Finance that that I spent a year reporting, <laughs> taking a look at, talking to experts all around about, are we in a retirement crisis? And the fact is, Americans love to spend. They are really terrible at saving for retirement. Uh, we are undersaved, and many people, of course, there's that segment of the population that, you know, is making a, a healthy wage and their employers take money out of their paychecks and automatically they start saving. But in fact, many, many Americans do not have access to an employer provided retirement plan. 50% of the population in the private sector, in fact, do not. So, uh, you know, it's it's troubling and seniors are heading into retirement with massive amounts of credit card debt and medical debt. So a lot of my experts are very concerned and we're saying like, what can be done? See what happens also, Vanguard came out with a report this morning that's showing that over a career, someone might change employers eight times and each time they get behind on their retirement savings. And so they calculated it was something like $300,000 in lost retirement savings by switching jobs. Other people, when they switch jobs, and I admit I did this myself when I was young, cash out the retirement money. And so it, they no longer have that savings and they pay the tax, etc. I think you and I have had this discussion before, but it's troubling. And so what? how do we get our hands around getting people to focus on their future and younger people are getting better because new tax laws that or new uh, laws that came in this year uh, enabled um, more people to more states have started to set aside uh, funds for people to private sector employers who don't have retirement plans to get them into these state sponsored plans there are about 20 states that now are offering these kinds of things um, also. Uh, there's ways for people to, there's more auto enrollment, there's more auto escalation. So these things are happening as part of some of the things that are changes coming through. But there's a lot more that has to be done because, for example, Medicare does not cover assisted living costs, which are soaring. So um, we're all looking for solutions. Social Security, huge issue. Uh, we've got nine years until the fund starts to uh, uh, tap down lower and uh, potentially 20% of benefits would be cut. So, 
you know, it, this is something that the best minds in our country need to start thinking about. And uh, we're hopeful moving forward, we're going to see some of these changes. All right. Some critical reporting there and a lot of fact finding over the past year. Carrie, thanks so much for bringing this to our attention and uh, some continued reporting on it as well. Certainly appreciate it.